Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at this, the Splatoon Primer Guide, which I picked up along with Splatoon. Um, mainly for collector's purposes, because that's what I do. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll have a quick flick through this, see what is inside, um, and hopefully that will, you know, help you decide whether you want to pick it up. Uh, I've only played the online battles of Splatoon, and I've only played it for a very short time. So I'm not going to look too much at it because I don't really want to spoil the game too much, uh, in particular the single player mode. Um, anyway, with that said, let's crack on. Um, so on the back, let's see what is in the contents. Uh, you get the e-guide, of course. Uh, all the stages covered. Um, all meaning the four. So, um, multiplayer details, so it's just tips on multiplayer I'm assuming, all about Amiibo which is pretty cool, it's actually, I, I believe it's going to have um, the challenges and all that sort of stuff that uh, the Amiibo give you, well that's why I assume if it's on the back, um, and then some concept art which is always really, really cool, um, so let's have a little look at this, um, so it's got a little welcome message, getting started, that sort of stuff, it's got the characters, uh, these are the people that sell you gear and um, weapons. Um, Battle Dojo Weapon Miner. So Battle Dojo is the one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, training, I guess, uh, local multiplayer. Um, so yeah, it's got a bit about the shops. Um, these are the arcade games. Uh, I think you well you play Squid Jump when you're waiting for a match to load, uh, which is pretty cool. And it looks like there's three other ones here: Squid Racer, Squid Ball, and Squid Beat. Uh, oh, and you unlock them by using the amiibo. So not only do the amiibo give you challenges and gear, you actually unlock three additional arcade games. So that's pretty cool. The amiibos are these three here, by the way. Um, Inkling Girl. Oh, okay. So straight up, challenges, it's got the Pinkly Girl Amiibo, um, the rewards you get for clearing a stage, by the looks of it. Yeah, okay, cool. So you can unlock Squid Ball, the weapon, uh, and these gear. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it's got the same thing, Inkling Boy and Inkling Squid. Uh, Octo Valley, so that's the one player uh, solo campaign. Um, okay, it's just got information on weapons and oh this is all Octo Valley stuff okay yeah, a bit um, enemy listings okay and then it's got the zones so I think a zone is almost like a world. So like think Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario Bros. You've got World One, and then you've got eight levels within that. I think that's kind of how this works. Yeah. So stage one, stage three, etc. So I'll just flick through this because I don't really want to learn too much. Uh, stage twelve. Well, we can get an idea of how many levels there are then, at least. Um, so we're already on stage twenty-two. So it seems like it's a pretty uh, meaty solo campaign. To say the focus is purely on um, multiplayer, really. Um, so there's a boss battle. Um, okay, so it looks like there's about 30 stages, you know, which is alright. Uh, a bit more about the other game modes. Uh, and then, I'm assuming this is like a weapon list, a weapon, weapon listing. Um, and it's got how much each of them costs and what level you have to be to unlock them. So basically you level up by doing the uh, multiplayer online matches. The higher level you get, the more cool weapons and gear you unlock. So that, that's pretty handy. If you see anything there you really like, um, I'll tell you what level you have to be to unlock it. Uh, you get sub-weapons and specials as well. Uh, So it looks like the clothing is branded, I didn't know that. So you've got branding there. Um, and I'm assuming, yeah, each brand kind of has their own specific ability. 
So, for example, all the Fire Fin branded clothing will have the Ink Saver sub ability or the Ink Recovery. Um, or that's what's most common within that brand, it looks. Uh, and then you've got a list of all the clothing. So let's have a quick pan up there. So that, by the looks of it, there's quite a lot already in the game, um, and I'm pretty confident we'll see more through the ongoing DLC. Um, and then shoes, loads of shoes, headgear, no headgear as well. Um, and then it's got the details on each of the maps, some uh, tricks. It always come in handy. And then I'm assuming uh, concept art at the back. Coming soon. Oh, okay. It's actually got details of upcoming DLC in this book. Bluefin, De Bluefin Depot. Kelp Dome, that looks really cool. Camp Triggerfish. Port Mackerel. Port Mackerel was released the other day. Um, and weapons. Oh, that's cool. Uh, the the NZAP89 came out the other day as well, but all of these are yet to come out. That's, that's pretty awesome. But it must be coming fairly soon. Um, and then concept art. So we'll have a, we'll have a good look at this, because concept art's always good. Nice. Uh, okay. School uniforms. Fair enough. That's quite a lot actually, oh, that's really cool. NPCs. So Judd is the cat that basically uh, announces who wins the online matches. It can also be found on the world map. Or the overworld, should I say. Loads. Oh, and there's some concept art for environments too. So I imagine there's quite a lot of environments in the solo campaign that don't really appear in the uh, multiplayer as of yet. So hopefully they'll carry some of those over into um, the uh, multiplayer map. Um, so yeah, that's that's a very quick look at the Splatoon Primer Guide. It's, it's pretty nice. Got everything you really need, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's that. If you enjoyed this, uh, be sure to check out the video where I unbox these little beauties. Um, and if I get a chance, I might actually record some footage of me using these and the challenges they actually have. But no promises there, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's a look at the Primer Guide. If you enjoyed looking through the Primer Guide with me. I do other, uh, I guess, unboxing videos of guides uh, on my channel. I've got the Majora's Mask Primer Guide, and I also have a Link to the Past graphic novel up there at the moment, so be sure to check them out. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, um, and enjoy playing Splatoon.